Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show, I react to comedy music from a comedy musician's perspective. Comedy music. This week, I'm reacting to A Pizza the Action. A very clever pun title. The new song by The Stupendium, featuring Cammy Cat. It's a Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach song. Uh, you know, diving into that again, if you remember my last Five Nights at Freddy's reaction, I know literally nothing about this series. Well, not literally nothing. I know it's about basically a haunted Chuck E. Cheese, but uh, I, know, I know little about it. But if this is your first time joining us, yes, I react to comedy songs from a comedy musician's perspective, which sometimes means dissecting the jokes, talking about the way the, the lyrics interact with the visuals and how the visuals help elevate the jokes of the lyrics, and sometimes that means just sitting back and enjoying the show. It's a crapshoot what you're going to get, but I think it's a good time either way. And as a word of warning, I do pause the video kind of often so that I can discuss the lyrics and react to things without talking over the song, so this way that I'm not missing any lyrics and having to rewind constantly. And it's just a good way of breaking things up. Uh, tends to mean that these videos go on a little while. That's fine. It's whatever. Anyway, now that I've said all of that, we're diving in. Oh, and yes, I'm clearly the most fashionable person, as I am wearing Stupendium's, uh, anniversary 800,000 subscriber special shirt uh, and and just the classic orange stupendium shirt that I picked up at NPC. Uh, yeah, this is a good time. Uh, I'm looking forward to this. I, I am expecting a lot of 80s glamness. I do know that we are getting uh, the the stupendiburb in here and uh, it's going to be a good time. I, I expect this to be stupendium at their most Hasselhoff. So, with all of that out of the way, let's dive into this. But for first, I'm going to check to make sure that the volume is in the right place. That would have been too loud. Let's not do that. All right, yes. Don't need to deafen everyone, and it's also myself. Hooray, here we go. Night show contains flickering, flashing imagery. Viewer discretion is advised. Bravo for putting that up front. Gregory, it looks like you are trapped here in the pizza plex until morning. Now, from what I understand, Gregory is the name of the character that you play as in Security Breach, but Stupendium fans also know that there's another association with that name. I'm not going to point it out, because, because if you know, you know. Camera's doing a weird thing. Whatever. Yeah, okay, fine. To survive the night, you are going to need a kick-ass 80s action anthem. That is not a show program I can provide. But there is someone who can. I'm guessing that's, that's Freddy, right? I think? Uh, also, uh, animation is amazing. This looks absolutely glorious. And there's the Stupendiburb avatar in the logo. Love it. Wow. Holy 80s. Wow. Like, just from jump, that is so, like, so synthy and, and evocative of that, that era. That's so perfect. I've been playing a lot of Bioshock lately, so for a second there, I thought Stupend Stupendiburb was going to come out of a Vita chamber. And that's, that's a different game series. That's not this. Sorry. Guitar! Ooh, nice, nice, uh, running through 
uh, rhyme line, like the ma and the pa have departed, like they're just hitting the A's, the A sounds in all of the words in that in that line it was very good. Uh, Stubenium said in the in the description of this that this wasn't really a pen flex, but uh, it, it still kind of is because it's Stupendium. Let's be honest. So rewind there a little. Park. Yeah. Ooh. These visuals are incredible. I'm a minute in, and this is just some of the most stunning work Stupendium has done, and they keep topping themselves. Like, the Poppy Playtime was an incredible visual feast, and just some of the most stellar production work I've seen on a video. And then there's this, which... Between the editing, the animation, the sets, everything that they do in their videos, they keep upping their game. Gonna make it hard for everybody to catch up, is all I'm saying. Uh, no. Absolutely keep doing it. It's amazing. And even even when they do a, a video that they're like, eh, I'm only doing a, a smaller video this time, it's still an amazing production. Ah! It's fine. It's so incredible. I'm, I'm like, I'm, in, I'm enraptured by the lyrics, but yet I'm still missing the lyrics of, like, what the point of them is, and it's like, it's just some incredible stuff here. Like, number one, you're in a giant ball pit. I think I read something like buying or renting, like, 25,000 balls for that ball pit. Yowza. But, uh, you've been played like your grave of arcade cabinets. What? I mean, because, yeah, you're being hunted in a, a Chuck E. Cheese facsimile uh, by the machines going bad at night, and, yeah, there are arcade machines there, so the, the arcade cabinets being your grave. Ah, such great stuff. Bear, because it has bear. Yeah, I, I get it. <laughs> the chicken. It's it's perfect. Like, I know so little about this game. I know just enough to, to kind of get me by here. But, like, the this being an 80s theme song for it, and it being just that... that absolutely punny title of Get Up Pizza the Action, because it's a it's a kid's pizza place arcade thing. That's why I keep making the, the Charles Entertainment Cheese comparisons. Uh, yes, that's what Chuck E. Cheese's name. It's Chuck E. Cheese. The E in Chuck E. Cheese stands for entertainment. That is a real thing. Uh, just because it's, you know, you're doing that without actually having it be Chuck E. Cheese. And, Incredible stuff, but this this music, this theme, it is just so 80s, like, Stupendium just nailing the era. Just absolutely nailing it. This is not so much along the lines of the usual hip-hop stuff that they do, but this is, this is a genre piece. Uh, this is absolutely just hitting that, that 80s rock aesthetic and nailing it. Bravo. And love the eye makeup. Fabulous costumes, fabulous makeup, fabulous sets, 
a goddamn key cut keytar? Hell's yes. Here for it all. Arcade to arcade, crust to crust. Instead of ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Which could also be a reference to uh, the Death and Taxes song somewhat. But, it, you know, it's just the phrase you say about life and death. But, uh, and there's a, a, a awesome uh, Five Nights at Freddy's uh, print shirt similar to this one. Uh, fantastic stuff. Wow, like, just, like, having... I, I believe the Stupendaburbs character's name is Cosmo. Having Cosmo be the backing vocals in that section there is really great, too. And just pick your destiny off of the menu and then be buried at the venue. Yeah, that's what, you know, you're going to the arcade to have pizza and stuff, but then you're going to get killed by the monster machines. Love it. Got the wind machine going. Some really solid rhymes in there with words that don't often rhyme. Like just hitting the syllable, hitting the hitting the vowel sound that way to make them kind of like fit the rhyme scheme. It's not it's not really too much of a stretch. It's not quite a slant rhyme, but it still it works so so beautifully just the way that it's sung. I dig that. Because <laughs> I think in the games you have to get there until dawn. You have, you have to make your way in the game until daylight, because when they the store opens again, so that you know you're not being killed by things. It's only at nighttime when this happens, basically. So, will dawn chorus be your encore? So, like when the light co when the sun comes out, will you be able to live on, or will you be killed before it reaches that chorus? Uh, at least that's my assumption as to what that that means. But I, I think that's a valid guesstimate, right? <laughs> it's not been since Thursday since we've had strangulations. I, you, you should have. You should generally see those signs. You know, uh, number of days since strangulation zero, or actually since Thursday. You know, the video came out on a Friday, so it's only been one day. So one day since strangulations last in the workplace. Bizarre violations. Uh, that's a really clever line. <laughs> <laughs> These are all characters. I recognize that because they said the name and there's a character on screen. I don't know these characters. It's fine. I charge the battery to this and it's it's low. So uh that's fun. All right. <laughs> oh dear. These games are horrifying. <laughs> Especially to play as a little kid in this one. Ha ha ha. Oh. They just look like they're having so much fun filming this, let's be honest. 
I mean, wouldn't you? Filming an, an epic 80s rock anthem about this. This is just like filming at a, at, at a Chuck E. Cheese analog and, and in a ball pit and with all of these cool sets and props and just this amazing music uh, by OO Oxygen or Zero Zero Oxygen, whatever it is, uh, by, by the producer. Uh, just stellar, fantastic, amazing stuff. Wow, it's it's phenomenal. Whoa. <laughs> of all the things to come out in this, I was not expecting a thriller Vincent Price voiceover. <laughs> That is absolutely brilliant. Wow. Bravo. All right, I got to jump back on that. And it starts with Darkness Falls. That's that's what the, the thriller one starts with. Darkness Falls across the land. Yeah, is it? Oh. Amazing. With each defect, yeah, it, it, it does say defect. I, I thought it, it didn't look like that. My eye only glanced at it. I thought it said defeat. With each defect, and out to crown the pizza flex, and whomsoever shall be found by staff bought horse that roll around, must then escape the bunny's wrath, or rot inside a stomach patch. So I'm guessing, uh, as Gregory, you crawl inside either Freddy Fazbear or, or something like that to help you your way through this. At least that's my assumption. I don't honestly know or anything like that, but that's the guess anyway. So. Oh, that's freaky. <laughs> nice transition. Fanfare and Fazbear, great rhyme, and it and it and it ends the same way that that the, the thriller version ends. That's so good. And then all the a lot of eyes popping up at the end after it, Ugh. and the laugh. Great Vincent Price impression. So good. Man, that animation's stellar. Wow, and the little fade out with it. So good. Bravo. Excellent work. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for visiting the Fazbear Pizza Plex Stupendium <laughs> Takeover event, and we hope you enjoyed the show. Stoops and the gang are pretty tired, but they'll be back again next month after a few weeks of scheduled vacation. Nice. We'd like to give an extra special Fazbear thank you to all of our Patreon superstars for hosting your parties here tonight. As well a lot of birthdays. As well as Coda, our superstar animator. Wow. Please Bravo, Coda. Please to the front of the building, where you will be given a playlist of more songs, customer feedback forms for your comments, and hella merch. A button pinata for you to smash, plus the option to subscribe and ring the bell for updates on all of our upcoming parties. And be sure to check the gift shop on your way out for our fantastic new A Piece of the Action merchandise. Stellar stuff. Awesome go go and support we'll Spenium. Uh, that is amazing work there. So much stuff involved with that. Uh, again, their production values keep getting bigger and bigger and better. Uh, and they, they do that all with the support of their Patreon supporters. Go support uh, stupendium and check out the original video in the description below so you can see it without me yammering all over it uh, not a really whole lot to, to, to pull out in this reaction it's just me really just enjoying it but uh, man that is a stellar song a stellar video hope you guys enjoyed that anyway if you enjoy these videos please like share comment subscribe and you want to help my channel out consider supporting my patreon at patreon.com slash insanian where you get these videos early get my music early, and all sorts of other stuff. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye.